Hi everyone, I wanted to make this video to give you some tips for the alternative to practical biology paper. So this is suitable for IGCSE CIE biologists. Now, as part of this, you will be asked to plan an investigation. So I'm going to talk you through how I personally would go about making my plan and then we'll look at a question so you can see how you'd use this plan. So the first thing I would do is use the variable layout. So it will be clear in the question as to what you're changing, but really point that out. So it could be, for example, and the question will specify, but it could be temperature. So I would list the independent variable of this investigation is the temperature, and I would give a range of temperatures to use because CIE likes that. And I'd even show how I'm maintaining those temperatures so I could say using a water bath. If we were asked to change the pH, you could do that through using a range of buffer solutions. So we're already getting quite detailed here, but obviously the independent variable will depend on the investigation you're being asked about. The next step when you're making your investigation plan is you want to state your dependent variable and I can't reiterate that enough, that is what you are actually measuring. It's something physical that you do in the laboratory. So you should never say the rate of oxygen production because the rate is not something that you can physically measure. You can use your apparatus to find some numbers that you can then pop into the rate equation, but the dependent variable itself is what you're actually measuring. So, for example, with photosynthesis, it could be the volume of oxygen gas produced. And again, give a piece of apparatus. So you could use a gas syringe. And in this particular case, you want to state how long you're collecting that gas for. So anything sensible here, there's no one right answer. But it's useful to state a time frame. That will be worth a mark. The next thing you want to do is list quite a few control variables. I would say at least three. Remember, these are what you keep the same. So again, very dependent on the investigation. It could be species of pondweed, length of pondweed, pH, carbon dioxide concentration. Because you want to increase the validity of your experiments, you always want to say repeat at least twice and calculate an average or mean. You want to give some safety advice, e.g. be careful if there is a scalpel involved or acid, because if that sprays in your eyes, it's going to be corrosive. So wear safety goggles. And then obviously, because you are planning investigation, you might want to include some method but like, it's very subjective. So it's quite hard to pick out the method points that they're after in the mark scheme. So I would concentrate on these other things I've mentioned in order to get those six marks guaranteed. You can always add some method in later. Just make sure you mention specific apparatus. So if that's a stop clock, gas syringe, etc., that will be important. So here's an example. Plan an investigation into the effect of light intensity on the rate of photosynthesis in Elodea, which is a type of pondweed, and it's worth six marks. So I'm going to write out a full answer for you using the scaffold mentioned. The independent variable, so what is it I'm changing, is the light intensity. And because I'm doing this in a school lab setting, it needs to be nice and simple. So to change that light intensity, I'm just going to use a lamp held at different distances away from the pondweed. And here's the range that I mentioned. So e.g. 10 centimetres, etc. What am I measuring now? So the dependent variable. Well, it's talking about the rate of photosynthesis, but that's going to be very hard to measure. But if we consider the equation for photosynthesis, which looks like this, one of the products of photosynthesis is oxygen gas. And so I can quite rightly infer that the more oxygen gas 
that is released, the faster the rate of photosynthesis. So that's actually what I'm going to be measuring today. The dependent variable is the volume of oxygen gas released in, here's my time frame, 60 seconds, and here's my piece of apparatus. I will use a gas syringe to measure that. How about my control variables? So what am I keeping the same? Species of pondweed, the length of pondweed, because obviously shorter lengths will photosynthesize less. Temperature, pH, carbon dioxide concentration. I will repeat and calculate an average. I will be careful when using the scalpel to cut the pond reed. And remember that rate can be calculated by doing the volume of oxygen gas collected divided by the time frame, which in this case was 60 seconds. And I'm not actually going to write any more than that because I'm really pleased I know that I've got my six marks here because I've effectively inferred a method throughout. A couple of other things I wanted to mention, which is that Roomba magnification, if I use this formula triangle, looks like this. So that's magnification equals image size over actual size. Just be careful with your units. They need to be the same for both image and actual size. So that could be both in millimeters or micrometers or even centimeters. Just be careful if you need to convert any of your units. Millimeters to micrometers, you need to times by a thousand. Centimeters to millimeters, you just times by 10. Throughout this paper, they're gonna be very fussy about significant figures and decimal places. They constantly will throw this into the question. So make sure you're giving your mathematical answer to the appropriate number of significant figures or decimal places as specified by the question. With the first question, the really long practical, read every word. You cannot hope in the CIE paper to just jump in at the question because you won't have a clue what's going on. My biggest advice is read every word to try and understand what they're investigating, what the independent variable is, what the dependent variable is. And by doing that, you'll have such a good idea of what they were looking for and it'll make it so much easier. With the results table, they'll inevitably ask you to draw Remember to include units. Right, I hope you found this video helpful, guys. Let me know how the exam goes.